Good evening. God bless you. Uh, my name is Mike, and this is Jesus Outside the Walls Ministry, and welcome to Faith Talk. Um, pray that everything is well with you. Um, I know the school year has started, and there's just so much still going on uh, today, uh, but remember, God is um, with you. Um, we're going to continue uh, our Faith Talk today on 1 John 4. Now, the last video focused on the first two, what kind of first three three verses of 1 John 4. And so we're going to go into the next two, 4 and 6, 4 through 6. All right. So we're still going to be on 1 John for a little while, but uh, also just this is going to, I believe this will help um, you in Bible study, helping growing um in in your walk with God as well uh so let's get right into it um one of the things you're going to hear today we're going to talk a little bit about um what cross reference is um and we're going to do an example of that today as we go through first John 4 all right now we're still in the part where we're testing the spirits what it means to test spirits what it means for spirits okay so let's just read first okay um, we're going to start at three because uh, I think it gives a good way of transitioning um, into those verses. Um, 1 John 4, um, 3 through 6. Okay, here we go. ESV version, uh, English Standard Version. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard, which you heard was coming and now is in the world already. Little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Five, they are from the world. Therefore, they speak from the world and the world listens to them. Six, we are from God. Whoever knows God listens to him. Matter of fact, me, sorry, whoever knows God listens to us. Whoever is not from God does not listen to us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Okay. And so let's, let's start with verse four. Um, now, remember, as we are going through this, um, what last week last time we talked about what spirits mean all right what what did john mean by spirits all right it, it was whoever was the teacher whoever was coming in the name of god or in the name of the lord the name of the lord uh coming in jesus name um you had to test not to believe everyone but to test every spirit and that's not just an admonishment he gave to who he was talking to that day that's an admonishment for every Christian even today that uh, uh, this is not a select this is we all can test the spirit all right and so one of the things that that's I found you know I'll speak for myself whenever there was talk about the Antichrist it, it was a little intimidating but the scripture here this scripture in verse 4 uh, talks about um, that we don't have to be afraid of of the Antichrist or what's or what's already in the earth or false teachers or false prophets um, being influenced by by the enemy. Um, and it reads, "Little children, you are from God and have overcome them." We can stop right there. He is admonishing those that you are from God and you have overcome them. And this is why, for he who is in you is greater. He who is in you is greater. And it's, and who is the he that is in you? That's God's spirit. That's the he that's in you, God. God's spirit dwells in you. Those that are believers, God's spirit dwells in you. The minute you said yes to Jesus, the minute you gave your life to Jesus, God's spirit came to dwell in you. So 
There, he says, you've overcome them. And here's why. For he who is, who is in you is greater. Greater than what? Greater than he who is in the world. Now, who is the he who is in the world? That's the Antichrist. That's Satan. That's the he who's in the world. All right? And so here he's saying you don't have to be intimidated by the spirit, by, by people that are come in, in the spirit of the Antichrist or the spirit of Satan. Uh, we don't have to be intimidated by it. We don't have to be intimidated by those, by those that, that come in, 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 in the spirit of the Antichrist or a spirit other than, than, than God's spirit. Uh, they can be eloquent in speech. They can be well versed and educated. They can they can look uh, 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 as acceptable or uh, exceptional. Um, it does not matter because they, whatever Satan has to offer, is not greater than God. And God's spirit lives in you. And so we don't have to be intimidated by anyone. Um, because God is the one who dwells in you. All right. That's for every believer. All right. And, and that's that's part of the testing of the spirit. Uh, again, that's why we we have to know uh, 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 who we believe in, knowing uh, that the gospel that Jesus came. Jesus is God's son. Um, he came. He died um, for our sins. Um, we are redeemed. We are justified. Uh, um, believe like we again go back to atonement. <laughs> we talked about atonement. Uh, the uh, uh, believe in the atonement uh, uh, of Christ. The sacrifice that He made was for all of our sins, and um, that He is the Son of God. That He He was He is fully God. He was fully God and fully man when He walked this earth. Okay, that was God in the flesh. Um, we all go back to what we believe about Christ, but that's that's what we hold to. But we don't have to be intimidated by the enemy. All right. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. That's what that verse four um, was talking about. All right. Now, what we're going to talk about what cross reference sometime to drive that point home. Um, we go to what is called cross reference scriptures. All right. Now, there are cross reference scriptures in the Bible. They have some Bible studies. They have a lot of cross references, uh, scriptures. So let's just find out what is cross reference, right? A reference to another text or part of a text typically given in order to elaborate on a point. The term cross reference can refer to either an instance within a document which refers to relate related information elsewhere in the same document. And so when you look through scriptures, a cross-reference scripture is another scripture that is very similar that kind of explains, not kind of, but explains what you're reading and it, go, it allows you to, to understand it even more. And so a lot of times, see, when I was when I was growing up uh, as early in the Lord, um, didn't have access to the internet. We had books, um, had these big, huge, strong concordance and uh, these big uh, Bible dictionaries, and, and they had all these uh, cross-reference scriptures. Um, now you can just go to Bible Hub. You can go to some Bible tools and some online things that are wonderful. Just at the click of a button, or just type something in, and they'll give you all the cross-reference scriptures to kind of drive home the point, or give you even more of an understanding of what you're reading. All right. And so that's what cross references. Here's a here's an example to kind of drive this home. Here's one, a cross reference scripture to, uh, uh, chap. I mean verse four. All right, it's Romans thirty one. And read, listen to this. What then shall we say in response to this? These things, if God is for us, who can be against us? You see, you see that greater is He who is in me than He who is in the world. See how that kind of connects and it gives you. Uh, a little bit more understanding of what's being said um, here. Uh, 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 that if God be for us, who can be against us? That's it. No one can stand against God. If it's just us ourselves, well, we are no match for the enemy. We're no match. But 
when great when God, whom we, we believe was in God's spirit dwells in us, there's no one that can, it says that who can stand uh, against us. Uh, there's no one greater. Amen. And that's, and that's awesome. And so we don't have to be intimidated. We don't have to be uh, afraid of, of what the enemy may try to present to us. We have the spirit of God in us. Amen. So let's go to, that was an example of a cross-reference scripture. All right. So let's go to verse five and three, five and six. All right. Uh, five. They are from the world. Therefore, they speak from the world and the world listens to them. Now, you see how it says that in verse five, it said they are from the world. Who was the they? The they, the Antichrist, the false teachers, the false prophets, uh, 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 those that don't come and that, 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 that are deceivers. Um, those, it, it, they come with their own wisdom. They speak from the world. They have their worldly wisdom um, and the world listens to them. The world accepts them and listens to them. All right. That's it. That the world does that. All right. But in verse six, he says, we are from God. We are from God. All right. And it says, whoever knows God listens to us. So who is the we are from? He's talking about not only was John talking about himself and the apostles, um, he's talking about those that are believers, those that were born again, those that were given a new spirit uh, 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 by Jesus Christ, given God's spirit. Um, those are the we, and 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 whoever knows God listens to us. And he at the particular time he's talking about him um, and the the apostles and those that come that are influenced by the Spirit of God. All right. Again, it goes back to that's how that's that testing of the spirit. Those that know God. All right. Will listen to us. Those that are from God will listen to us. And here's another example of another cross scripture that will help you help us understand what's being said here. OK. And so we have um, John 10, 27 and 28. All right. It says, my sheep hear my voice and, uh, and, I, and I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. And so you see there, you see, it says that we are from God and those that know God will listen to us because my sheep know my voice and another they will not follow, all right? And so you, you, you see how this is connected with testing of the spirits, knowing God, uh, uh, knowing him, spending time with him is very, very, very um, important. Um, yes, we have the fullness of God in us uh, by his spirit, but it, it also is important as well. I just wanna add this, that we spend time um, with God, um, to know God even more and more um, each each day um, as we pray, as we read the Bible, we, we grow in knowing him. And as we do that, those that come in another spirit, those that come in a, to deceive, those that come with false teaching and, and, and false prophecy and all these kinds of things, we know we recognize God's voice. You see that? You see, you see the connection? We recognize his voice. So that's part of the testing um, of the spirit. We know God, so we know his voice. We know the difference in his voice. And, and a lot of times, you know, we're gonna hear these voices. We're gonna hear the voice of the enemy, <laughs> uh, our voice and God's voice. That's, that's the voices we're going, going to hear. And a lot of times, uh, 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 our voices will be solely in connection with um, the enemy's voice um, uh, because it's about our flesh, you know, you know what I'm saying? So the enemy ain't gonna fight you on that, um, but the spirit of God uh, uh, is gonna be totally opposite of, of, of that. And so we, as his sheep, we know his voice. 
as his sheep, we know the spirit of God because the spirit of God lives in every believer. Okay? Uh, and so uh, that's, and you see the, the, the connection uh, with the cross, the cross reference scripture there, the connection there. Um, it helps you to understand that more. And what does it say there? And it says, we just finish verse six. Whoever is not from God does not listen. Whoever is not from God does not listen to us. Now, and now here's a, here's an important thing. Um, when we talk when 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 we talk about listening, and I work with kids for a long time. That was been my that's been my life's work. Um, Twenty plus years working with um, youth, um, and I just want to talk about uh, uh, listening. You know, listening is not just hearing words. What signifies that someone has listened to you is that if they follow through of what they heard. If there's no follow through, if there's no action to what they heard, then you question whether they heard you or not, or did they really listen? Listen is has a has an action that follows it. Either you're not going to do it or you're gonna do it. If you don't do it, then that's rebellion. Then that's disobedience. But if you do do it, that, that, that uh, you may have heard the words, but it's not just, fi it doesn't stop at hearing the words. It's, it, it, it's finished off with an action. And working with kids, um, <laughs> they, 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 they said they heard, but they didn't follow through. Or, or they they said they heard or they really didn't hear or they didn't and that and it's, that's just like so that's just like us um, at, at times um, sometimes we we can be in in, in, in disobedience but here it's talking about the whoever is not from God does not listen to us now he was talking about um, him and the, the apostles at the time but those that come. That, that belong to God, that know God, that, that know his voice, that belong to him, that are believers, will obey him, will follow through. Will it be easy at times? No. But we follow through by the Spirit of God. There, there, there's, there, there's, there, that's something that follows a, a believer. Even though they may fight at times, even though they may disobey for a little bit, eventually they will. Eventually they will. Uh, uh, but if, when it comes to someone coming to them, whether it's a prophecy or a teaching, um, those that come that are influenced by the Spirit of God, those that are, are influenced by God, that are sent by God, the one people that know God, that are his children, his sheep, will listen. And the ones that are not his sheep will not listen. You see there? That, that that's what it, that that scripture kind of helps um, drive that home. All right, um, those are the two we want to, to talk about. Just want to talk about some cross reference scriptures as well. Um, I hope this was a help to you, and um, we'll continue on through First John four um, next time. God bless you.